What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkenter.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom styles for individual widgets with Kenter. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at building custom styles for individual widgets. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab a totally free PDF copy of my Kenter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book and download that now. And while you're there, check out tkinter membership, get all my kinter courses, videos, and books for one low price. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at creating custom styles for individual widgets. Now, in the last video, we looked at using styles and themes for your entire app. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own styles and apply it to just certain widgets. So maybe you just want to style one button, or maybe you just want to style one label and you want all your other labels and buttons to have the default look. How do you do that? Well, that's what we're going to look at in this video. So you can see I've got a couple of buttons here and, you know, changes color when I hover over it. This is the default button. It just looks like the default button. So head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, so I've got a file. I'm just calling it style underscore widget.py. It's our basic enter starter code that we always do. But here I've imported TTK because these are TTK styles we're going to be working with. So this will only work with TTK widgets, right? This won't work with regular Kinter widgets. So keep that in mind. So first thing, let's define a style widget. And we looked at this in the last video. We just set a variable. I'm going to call it style. And then we set this equal to a TTK dot style widget. And that's all there is to it. Now we can also set the default theme that we want to use. So let's go style dot theme underscore use. And let's just set the default theme here. And we looked at that in the last video as well. So now let's come down here and create a couple of buttons. So I'm just gonna call this my underscore button one. And that's going to be a TTK dot button. We want to put it in root, we want the text to say, I don't know, log in. And that's fine for now. So let's go my underscore button one dot pack. And let's give this a pad y of like 40 to really push it down the screen. I'm just going to copy this guy and do it a second time. So we have two buttons to work with here, change this to button two. And we'll have this one say exit and we'll give this a pad y of 20. So okay, we've got two buttons here. And these are just the default style that comes with TTK buttons, right? So what if we want to change the style of this one or maybe change the style of all of our buttons, right? Uh, you might want your buttons to have a certain style, but your overall app to have the default style. So you wouldn't want to come up here and change this, for instance, to clam, the whole app would be clam, maybe you just want your buttons to be different, right? So how do we create our own style? Well, we just come down here, and we take our style widget here, that we created and we configure it. So let's go style dot configure. So inside of here, we can create our own styles for individual widgets very easily. So first, we let the system know what widget we want to deal with, and we give this style a name. So I'm going to call this elder. And this is going to be a T button style. So whenever you're dealing with buttons, it's T button. When you're dealing with labels, it's T label. Almost all the widgets, you'll use T and then the name of the widget, but not all of them. And I'll show you that in just a second. But for now, we're just going to deal with buttons. Like I said, I'll talk about that in a second. So this is going to be a T button. And then here, you just sort of define what you want your style to be. So I'm going to give this a foreground of like, white. So the text will be white. I'm going to give it a background of and here you can use any color code or color. So you could say, you know, blue, or you can use a hex color code, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go 003066. That's sort of dark blue. Right? Uh, we could change the font, right? So let's go font. And I'm going to make this Helvetica. And make it like really big, say 24 size. And we can also change the padding. So padding equal, and this is going to be a Python list. And we want the, we want it to be 10, 10, 10, and 10. And so that's like 10 on the left, 10 on the right, 10 on the up, 10 on the down, or something like that. Play around with those numbers uh, to see which one is which. I don't remember offhand, doesn't matter at all, right? So, okay, that looks good. Now to use this thing, this elder.t button, we have to tell our widgets, hey, use this. So down here, let's make my button one use this style my button two will not. So to do that, we just come here and we just go style equals and then pop in the name of it, right? So let's go ahead and save this and run it, see what this looks like. So I'm in my c slash tkinter.com directory. Let's go Python 
style underscore widget dot pi. And we do, sure enough, we get this button that's that dark blue color. And this one is not. Now you'll notice when I hover over it, it changes color. This is the default action. We can change that too. So let's come back here and change that real quick. Just right under here, we can use a map. So let's go style dot map. And what do we want to map? Well, we want to map out this elder T button thing. So we pop that name in there. And then we can change whatever we want. So I want to change the background of the active state. Active means when you hover your mouse over it. So this is going to be a Python list. And inside here we have a tuple. And I want to change the active state. And what color do I want to make that? Well, you can use any of your color codes. You could say, you know, red, or you can use actual hex color codes. So I'm going to go 004 EA5, which is a sort of lighter blue. So now if we go ahead and save this, head back over here, run this guy. Now when we hover over it, we get a lighter blue. And we're done. Now notice this one, the second button doesn't have that style applied to it. What if we want to make all of our buttons use this style? How do we do that? Well, very easy. All we have to do is instead of naming this a name like elder T button, we just call T button, right? We save this and run it. Now every button will use that, that thing. And you'll notice the uh, hovering is different because we go back to our code, we call this elder T button. If we just change that to T button, save this and run it. Now all of our buttons are going to use that map, right? So very cool and uh, very easy. Now, why would you use this? Well, like I said, maybe you want your overall app to have a default theme, but you want to style up certain elements like your buttons or your labels or whatever. You would do this. Uh, maybe you just want one button or two buttons or a handful of buttons, but not all the buttons to have a style. You would again use that, only you would, uh, you know, name it something, right? Very cool. Now, notice one thing to pay attention to if we don't set the theme, to default, it's going to change things. And let me show you what I mean. This is going to make all of your buttons or anything use the default TTK style, which is this. And you can see it has a sort of dark blue outline. And when we hover, we get the light blue outline, but the actual button color itself doesn't change. So to get around that, you just need to, like we did, set the theme to default. And you can use all the TTK themes that we talked about in the last video. So for instance, uh, you could go like classic, Let's see, run this, it's a little weird, right? <laughs> we get this sort of weird style. You could do clam was one we looked at, run this guy, see slightly different, whatever. I'm just going to set it back to the default and we're good to go. Now I mentioned most of the widgets have T before their names when you create your own style, but not all of them. So let me just real quickly here, kind of copy a list of these that I made up for you. And let's come down here to, let's see, widget style names. Actually, this should be widget style. Let's come down here and go widget style names. And let me just paste these in. And you know what? We're gonna need to comment all of this out that. Okay, so you'll see most of these button is T button, check button is T check button, combo box is T combo box, but there are two differences. Down here, tree view, that's just tree view. You know, you might think it would be T tree view, but that's kind of silly, so they just made it tree view. So that's the one main difference. The rest of them are almost all pretty much just T and their name, T entry, T frame, T label, etc. The other difference is the things that can be horizontal or vertical. So your progress bars, your scales, your scroll bars, right? Those can go, like I said, either up, either left to right or up and down. So those are called, for instance, the progress bar is horizontal dot T progress bar or vertical dot T progress bar. It's still T whatever. It's just they slap a horizontal or a vertical in front of them. Same with scale, horizontal.t scale, vertical.t scale, and same for scroll bar, horizontal.t scroll bar, vertical.t scroll bar, right? All the rest of them are just their name. So notebook is t notebook, paned window is t pane window, except for tree view, which is just tree view, right? So if you wanted to make 
a label style, you would just come up here instead of T button, it would be T label, right? That's all there is to it. That's the only difference. So very easy to create your own styles. You have all kinds of great sort of options here to make these do whatever you want. And like I said, remember the padding. Uh, this is, let's change this to 50. This is going to be, I want to say the left-hand side. If we save this and run it, yeah, you see on the left-hand side here, we got 50 of padding, right? Versus the 10 everywhere else. So play around with those numbers. Like I said, I don't remember the order of these. You can play around with them yourself. Just knock each one on 50 and run it and see what it looks like. Yeah, but basically that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out tkinter.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership. So that's access to all my Kinter courses for one low price. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.